Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Professor Sistrunk, and I'm reaching out to the student body. Okay, students, you have been in this course for approximately three days. We are currently on our fourth day. And the first thing I want to point out to each and every one of you is that you know you have a discussion question you should be posting to. Try your best to get that post in because if you miss it, most of you know my rules. We do not go back in time to answer a question that should, be, should have been answered this week. Try your best not to miss it. With that being said, what I want to do is introduce you to some tips to understanding your course. Now, the things I'm going to walk through will just basically give you a brief head start on where you should be at right now and assist you with a few questions that students have asked me that I think I should bring to the general population within this class. So the first thing is, of course, you're logged into your D2L shell because in your D2L shell, you should be going to your syllabi. Now, your syllabi is important, but I'm gonna focus on one particular section, the section of your calculation of your particular grades. The first thing is discussion question. We just had that conversation. You know you have a number of eight of them and they're worth 10% of your grade. Make sure you try not to miss any of those discussion questions. They're gonna be important. And just for reference, this video log is gonna be your second discussion question, but I'm gonna send it to you early. I may not do all of them like that, but I'm gonna try. The second thing is professor meetings. Now, you have approximately six of them, one per week. You get to choose when you wanna meet with me, but try to make all six of them so you can get the maximum percentage of your grade. And the reason we're gonna have those meetings, like I said earlier in my earlier video, it's just basically to talk about how you are doing, look at what you are doing, get a breakdown of what you are going over, and if you have any particular issues. Now, you can simply just meet me in my office hours or you can pick a particular time to meet me, but try not to take up the office hours and then set up another meeting with me because that'll be taken away from other students. And all meetings, all meetings have to be after 5 p.m. because like now, I'm making video logs, I'm going to meetings, I'm constantly being bogged down with other work. So try your best to schedule it after 5 p.m. And don't mess with my Saturdays and Sundays. Please treat me well. The next thing is student study schedule template. Now, what is that? That is you sitting down saying, I really want to achieve my certification. So how do I do it? Well, I can go online and look for a study plan. Do that. Go online and look for a Cisco Cyber Ops study plan. Cisco even has it within their course material, but you don't have to follow that. Create your own. A study plan that will tell me day by day, week by week, what you will be doing in this eight weeks. Submit it this week, people. By now, you should be studying your material. So complete that plan and submit it to me by Sunday. Okay, let's get that done. I know some people not gonna watch this video log. The plan is mission critical for you. So even if I don't get it Sunday, I'm not gonna take away your points, but at some point in this class, you should present me with a plan. Hopefully it won't be the eighth week. <laughs> the pre-assessment questions. You only have to do that once, just like with the study plan once. And that is just basically to see where you at. You're gonna take that test and you're gonna take it fresh. 
You're not going to look around for questions to help you or anything. You're just going to take it fresh so you know exactly where you at. That's what that's about. So don't try to corrupt it by looking up the answers. Just take it and see where you at. Because sometimes you really are spot on and have a high score. So you only need to work on the parts that you don't know. Practice test questions. You got 24 of them, three per week. That means in your section that says practice test, three times a week you should be taking that. But like I pointed out to students that you should do it more than three times a week, but I only require three times a week. But if you do it more, remember, I'm taking the highest score to give you for that. Okay, so whatever the highest score is, that's the score I would take. Post-assessment question. You have eight of them, which is worth 15% of your grade. Remember, you should, at the end of the week, take at least that one time. You don't have to take it at the end of the week, but it's idea to do your practice test question several times. Then, at the end of the week, do your post-assessment assessment just to see where you're at. You're going to be able to take it eight times. If you want to take it more, take it more. One of the questions came to me from a student was, how many times can I take these tests? Take them as many as times as you want. For me, this is one of my study habits. I will take these tests close to a thousand times if I can pull it off. Every morning, I'm going to get up and take a test. In the afternoon, I'm going to take a test. Before I go to bed, I'm going to take a test. That's how I roll. I man up. And I'm asking you to man up or woman up to be able to pass this certification. Schedule exam. One of the questions came to me about scheduling exam. Now, you will see a date on scheduling the exam. That date simply means that you have four weeks to schedule your exam. That doesn't mean you have to take the exam. That just means you're going to schedule it. You got until the end of this semester, the last day of the class, to take the actual certification exam. You need to take it. Pass or fail will not affect your class. We want you to pass, but it will not affect your class. Just remember, you got four weeks to schedule that exam. And that's worth 15% of your grade. Now, certification exam, that's the last thing you'll do in this class is sit for your certification. Okay, once you sit for your certification, then you will get that grade and hopefully you will have passed. I have faith in all of you. I believe you're going to rise up to the occasion and you're going to pass this certification exam. I see it in you and I know it to be. Now, there's one thing a student asked me that you don't see on here that I would advise you to go get. Whatever certification you're going for, whichever one it may be, make sure that you go to the particular website and get your domains. Now, I'm not going to tell you anything more than that because you should know what a domain is. Get your domains for whatever test you decide to go for. And once you get those domains, they will lead you on what you need to focus on in your exams. Okay, so we went through this. Excellent. I'm going to keep it short, people, like I said. The next place I'm going to go is down here. Now, this week here, try your best to get through this material, to do your practice test, to do your pre-assessment. Definitely make sure you get that discussion question in because you know how I am with discussion questions. And then do your post-assessment. Now, this date, 10, 16 to 11, 12, that's approximately four weeks for you to schedule your exam. How do I know how to schedule my exam, professor? Go to the website of the test you're going to take and they will walk you through how to schedule for that exam. This is up to you. This is your certification. 
You have to take ownership of it. And if you are afraid, then this, you are not ready for this. You shouldn't be afraid. You should be rising to the occasion. So go find out how to take your certification by going to your, the testing site that you will get your certification. So if you're going for CompTIA, go to CompTIA's website. If you're going for Cisco, go to Cisco website. They will give you all the information you need to know. And remember, look for the domains. That's the key. Okay, with that being said, when you come in here to your lesson, now I have more things in here, but you're going to have your pre-assessment, your practice test, and your post-test. Let's just look at the practice test real quick and so we can close this out. In the practice test, you will notice you got A, you got B, and then you got a custom test. Now, what do that mean? That means that you should work over A, do these 90 questions until you get at least a 90 to 100 percentile. Now, I know we all want to be perfect, get 100 percent. Go for it. But when you get in that 90 percentile, then go over here and start working this and get a 90 percentile. Now, when you dominate this, the questions that you miss create a custom test on those questions that you miss. But let me show you something. If I go into here right now and I go to any one of them, I'm just going to choose learning. I suggest you go through all of them, but I'm going to go to learning. You use this the way you want to use it, but use it to maximize your learning. If I close this out, because I'm not going to choose anything, I'm not even going to read it. I end the test. Now it will show me the items. Guess what? Whatever I got wrong, I can click on it and it'll give me a detailed understanding of why I got it wrong. People use this as your most powerful superpower. Make sure you read all of this and understand why you chose the question or why you missed the question. This is your superpower. Now, some of you may want to go back to NDG or Cisco. That is for the people who took a class with me, like cybersecurity or something like that. It's only network plus cybersecurity, et cetera, et cetera. Some of you may want to go back to that. If you deem you need that outside of that, just send me an email. I'll open it up for you. But people, this is your super weapon right here. That's why we choose questions to get us prepared for the certification. With that being said, I'm going to cut this short. And if you need to meet with me, set up a meeting with me. But let's get going. You should be doing this every day. Wake up in the morning, get you a cup of coffee or tea if you're a tea person and go through it. Do it in the afternoon. Find some time in the afternoon, do it. But send me that schedule of how you going to study for this. A person that does not have a plan is doomed to fail. Send me your plan. This is Professor Sistrump signing off and have a beautiful day.